So I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, what even are heart rate zones and why should I care? Your heart rate is just how many beats per minute your heart is beating while you're running. And there are five main heart rate zones. Zone one, two, three, four, and you guessed it, zone five. And it just means that your heart rate is beating faster at each one of those zones. So zone one is easy running. Zone two is slightly harder. It keeps going until zone five, which is really tough running. Even really well-trained athletes can't run at zone five for too, too long. And yeah, there is one zone that you wanna be in most of the time, but we'll get there. Bear with me. First, we need to tell you how to calculate those heart rate zones. And I wanna be honest, it's gonna get a little sciencey. I'm gonna make it as quick as I can. And in fact, there's gonna be a little clock right over my shoulder. And when that's done, the sciencey bit's done too, I promise. So just stick it out with me. You've gotta calculate your lactate threshold heart rate. That's the heart rate at which your body can't flush out the lactic acid as quick as it's being made while you exercise. And so in order to do that, we're going to run a little test. And I know it's a bit complicated, but just bear with me. So you're going to run all out for 20 minutes. This is a hard push, as hard as you can go for 20 minutes. And at the end of that 20 minutes, I want you to take a look at your average heart rate for that full 20 minute push. Then decrease 5% off that heart rate, and that's your lactate, your lactate threshold heart rate. Now, we're gonna use that to calculate your five heart rate zones. If you're below 85% of that lactate threshold heart rate, well, that's zone one. Between 85 and 90%, that's zone two. 90 and 95%, that's zone three. 95 and 100%, that's zone four. And then above 100% of that lactate threshold heart rate, that is zone five, ripping running. So I know what you're thinking. There's five heart rate zones and five is the biggest one. That's the hardest. That's where I should train all the time and I'll become a superhero. Well, it doesn't really work that way for a whole bunch of reasons. One of them is that you're going to get hurt if you try to train in zone five all the time. It's really hard running and, and your body will break down. But there's a bunch of other really good metabolic reasons that there's a different zone you want to spend most of your time in. And here's the answer. Ready? It's zone two. I know. It really is. You should spend about 80% of your time running in zone number two. That's gonna get the best bang for your buck for time training. Your body's gonna adapt really well to that training. You're gonna build that aerobic base that allows you to transfer energy really well in your body. You're unlikely to get hurt doing most of your training at zone two. So you'll get to keep running those high mileage weeks that'll allow you to build that consistency and become a great runner. How does it feel to run in zone two? Well, look, when you're out running, you should be able to keep on a conversation with somebody that you're running with. So if you're out of breath so much that you couldn't chat with a pal, well, you're probably training in a heart rate zone that's too high. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying you should always run the same pace and run in zone two all the time. 80% of the time in zone two, that means you've got 20% of the time to train in those higher heart rate zones. That's where your hill work comes in, your tempo work comes in. And yeah, there's some zone five running in there. We're really gonna make it work for that other 20% to get the best bang for your training buck. Zone two training is what's gonna do the most work for you. But I don't want you to get too tied up. All of these metrics are a little bit flawed. None of this is perfect. Here's what you should do though. Spend about 80% of your training at a conversational pace. Make sure that you could talk to somebody who was running with you. Tell them a funny story if they were there. That's gonna be how you know your heart rate is low enough to get that maximum adaptation for the work you're putting in. And that's what running's all about finding ways to maximize the benefit for the time you put in. I guarantee it, if you get great at understanding your own heart rate zones and train in the right zones most of the time, you'll see that benefit. If you wanna know how they feel at each heart rate zone, check out this video over my shoulder from Coach Morgan about perceived effort and how you can feel when you're at each effort level. It's definitely worth a watch. See you next time.